All right, CIT 100, let's keep the spreadsheet train rolling. This sequence of videos will walk you through the fundamentals of spreadsheets divided into four sections. Our first core concept is called managing your sheets. We just made in the spreadsheets and brief section a spreadsheet that tallies up the number of miles driven over the course of a week for a small business owner. It's quite possible that this business owner would need to track other things in the same spreadsheet. Well, ideally, it needs to track other things. It would be handy to do so in the same spreadsheet. It is convention because it's easier for analysis to have a table-like thing, meaning a range of cells with rows and columns, in its own sheet such that we don't have to worry about formatting on other locations. So if I were to say track um, total expenses for the business, I wouldn't just start a new section over on the right, even though there's room. You can go over. Now, this ends at M. You can, if you take your cursor, see, you can go after 26. It starts lettering them AA, AB, etc. But what's better is if we start an entirely new sheet at the bottom. So, peek down at the bottom. These are called tabs. Each tab represents a sheet. Usually, there's a plus sign somewhere, or uh, sometimes it's on the left, sometimes it's on the right. It means make a new sheet. I click the plus, I got a new sheet, there's nothing in it, and it gave me an automatic name of sheet 2. Now, to a user, maybe yourself in a year, you may not remember, what, what does sheet 1 mean? It doesn't have anything to do with miles driven, so we want to rename these. We do so with the right click, which is called the context menu button on your mouse, and we usually have, or we will always have, an option to rename. You'll notice when I hit that, it gives me a flashing cursor in the uh, sheet one tab title area and I can type um, driving miles. It's convention to not use spaces in sheet names. You might as well practice good convention. So that was driving miles. Now I can move on. Uh, this we're going to work through is this activity that we're going to work through over the next core concepts is involving something that you like to collect. In my case, I like programming. So I have Programming books. Here's my programming books. You can hear a little bit of them. Can you hear it? Yeah, I bet you can hear that. Uh, programming books. So I'm going to rename this sheet uh, Collected Programming Books. And we're going to see that you can use a spreadsheet to organize something that's of interest to you. So our normal pattern with spreadsheets is to decide on the headers for columns, which tells us what data are we going to collect in the rows. So obviously I want to get the title of the book, and the author, and the edition. Now remember, I have two modes. I have edit mode and navigate mode. And if I have a cursor in a cell, I'm in edit mode. It's waiting for typing. Enter will get me out of edit mode and usually move me to a cell underneath me. If I'm in a cell, I can hit the tab key to move over. And I can jump back to my arrow keys to navigate around and so I want to use these fundamental sections as a way to practice the navigations. I've never played I haven't really played video games but I'd imagine that video gamers become much more competent as they can use the key functions moving and and throwing arrows at other teams they can do that really easily so it's worth practicing in a spreadsheet just doing simple things like I type the wrong nonsensical text into this cell I go into edit mode either by double clicking or hitting F2 or you can even if you have a selected cell just click the formula bar and you can edit uh, in a way that allows you to see lots of text on a single line so I wanted to make this addition oops did you see what happened I accidentally typed the 2 key before I hit, I was going for F2, but I hit 2. If we aren't in edit mode and we type text, it will automatically overwrite the value. I went over this at the first video, but remember, if you make that mistake, Control-Z is our friend, that's undo. So I'm going to try again, editor, good, now I'm hitting tab, and that moves me to the next cell in, in uh, select mode. What else do I want to, ooh, we want to record something numeric that we can use the Excel functions and formulas to do neat stuff with. So uh, let's do for fun, uh, because programmers like to write really long books, we'll do pages. And I also, because I'm a collector of them, I have some sort of rating. So I'm going to say rating, and I'm going to say 
uh, I'll actually call it five star rating. Now notice my pattern is not to put spaces in column names. You can put spaces in column names. It looks a lot prettier. Uh, we could say five star rating. If you ever start doing data analysis with spreadsheets and using any other program, you won't want to have spaces in your column headers. Five star rating and how about comments? All right, good. So we have set up our sheets and we will soon be ready for uh, formatting. Um, so let's go ahead and jump down to our next concept of uh, formatting.